Hi, okay, so someone earlier asked me how you'd set the auto fire up on this. Basically, you'd end up going to the controller section of where you're normally setting the bindings up. Go to the macros up here. This is the button you want to auto fire. So let's say you have something firing on right trigger, you'd press R2 right trigger. The trigger here is the button that you're going to have that basically activates it. You can have it as a toggle, so you press it and then it keeps going until you press it again to turn it off. If you have a controller with extra inputs and you want some other button, like a like an underside bumper or a paddle or something, you have a switch controller or one of the ones with the extra new buttons that like the prior PS2 has start select if you have one that is home or those other ones you can put it to there. And so you can set that to whatever. I'll set it to my miscellaneous one. And then frequency is how much you is how often you want it to go to. So like you can either hit this and type in a number or use the arrows. This is how often it'll go every I currently have it set so because this isn't toggle that as I'm holding this it'll do the right trigger once every three frames. Most PS2 games are 60 frames a second. So this would end up going off 20 times a second. Some games have got a certain minimum time before they will read and read the input again, which is why you may want to mess with this. And then that's how you set up the auto fire. If you need it, so if you have any other questions on this, anything you want to ask, please let me know. And I'll try to answer them in the comments.